But maybe there's an investigator out there, an investigative reporter, for example, uh, someone on the uh, commission that would be formed after this NYC uh, CAN referendum passes. You know, we'll get this guy in under oath and, and others that associate with him and find out what happened. Maybe what he told uh, some people at the university too, that'd be interesting, because obviously there was, I know there was stuff going on behind my back then. Did you have a comment? I was just going to say, I don't know if that would open you up to some kind of legal action suit. Yeah, I'll tell you what, as soon as we get this commission, I'll mention his name publicly. I'm not just saying what capacity he worked. Well, he was a contractor. I did check. He does have a company in the Bay Area. I'll add that. And he's a contractor, and he claimed he had these uh, contracts with government agencies. Could you put the name, like, in Martin. sort of encrypted thing? <laughs> <laughs> I did, you know, if someone here is really an investigator, and we can make some sort of formal thing. But I just don't think uh, the general public it's going to help too much. And, and a lawsuit isn't going to help me. So I think I've said about all I can. I think I'd feel better if we got this commission, I was subpoenaed, and so on. There's some protection that comes with being subpoenaed by an official uh, commission. Oh wait, uh, we have, can we just do one more question, Greg, and then, um, I, I'm ready to get tired. I don't know about you. <laughs> so is this the first time you're talking about these conclusions? No, well, these conclusions, <clears throat> is it, are they in the paper? Yes, or this, or this material. Well, uh, again, this has been published now, and therefore, I feel free to talk. I had talked about nanothermite a little bit uh, before. And by the way, I will say the same Martin sent me an email <clears throat> after I talked about nanothermite. Well, I expected it. And in the email, he said, let's see if this is a threat to you. It sounds like a threat to you. He said to me, <clears throat> there will come a day when you will have to accept the official story. That's what he wrote to me. You will have to accept the official story. But let's say, I, and I wrote to him, I said, what, what are you, is this like uh, torture or why, uh, why should I give up my data? He didn't respond to that. So uh, this guy is uh, something else. Anyway, let's come back to you. Where do you get your publications? How do people get them? Oh, okay. The easiest, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's like a big long. If you Google on um, my name helps. Actually, I'll tell you. What, here's the easiest thing to Google on. I still have a research research web page at the university. So you Google on BYU Jones Research. First, it comes up my web page. Click on that right near the top. Well, about a third of the way down, the, the top of publications. You'll click on this publication, or you'll find the publication. This material, your there. conclusions, have you emailed it to President Obama? No, I haven't sent it to Obama. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> yes, it would be. It would be. It's just an email. Okay, let's go to break. That's BYU. BYU Jones, that gets you my web page. No, no, just Google. Google that, please. You get the title of the report. The other place to go is uh, Journal of Dental Women Studies com. And I know that that's linked directly. You won't have to copy and paste or anything. Uh, this is Greg Roberts, one of the co-authors on this paper. We appreciate his work. <laughs> you have a question or a comment, Greg? I, I was going to. I was going to try to, uh, actually glad to be last, because uh, I'm really tired. I think a lot of us probably are, and probably a lot of you are kind of overwhelmed. And, uh, I didn't prepare anything, but I wanted to kind of send you out on enough note to kind of give you a little motivational help here, because I think the biggest obstacle to progress on 9-11, uh, first, let it celebrate. What is it, eight years after the attack? We are so much further ahead than eight years after the JFK assassination. True. Let's acknowledge that. <laughs> due to the internet, which I think the perpetrators didn't count on the power of that, and so there's a lot that we already know. But the obstacle for us going further, first of all, is thinking that we're alone, thinking that we have to somehow, you know, what can I do? Well, I can't do anything, probably you can't do much of anything, but we can do a lot, and we have already done a lot. Some of us have, and, and there's more joining the 9-11 treatment than all the time. 
So I just, you know, ask you to, to, to kind of plant a stake in the ground in the future of, of tomorrow, next week, next month. Put in some hours every week. Don't, don't make it an overwhelming thing of how you're going to solve this. We will solve this together. We the people. Network with others. Find an organization that you can respect and work with. I personally worked with architects and engineers for Nine Eleven Truth after spending about four years helping Jim Hoffman get his websites and, and really get the top-notch shape. Uh, I'm a technical writer. I use the skills I have. You all have your own skills. We all have a gift to bring to this, and it can be a lot of fun working on it. It's not all about, ooh, scary, what if they fire me, what if they do this? Don't we have fun with this, John? <laughs> John Pearl has uh, provided the, uh, the sample of the residue from the commercial thermite that he set up. He bought it, set it off, gathered up a sample, and we analyzed it. He's a videographer as well. <laughs> so you get the point. Don't remember the fatigue and overwhelm from tonight and tomorrow. Remember the inspiration and where we're all headed. Thank you.